Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today in gaming, a leaked Battlefield trailer is causing major excitement, Warzone Solo's got a welcome change, Apex Legends is getting an interesting balance change, and much more. Yesterday afternoon, a trailer for the next Battlefield game leaked on Reddit. Screenshots and audio of this trailer had been leaking over the past few weeks. Now that the full trailer is viewable, speculation is running wild about DICE's plans for the next game. However, it seems unlikely that this trailer is actually the reveal trailer for the next Battlefield game. At first glance, it looks very authentic, but on closer inspection there are a ton of placeholder assets, unfinished textures, and recycled audio. Eurogamer confirms suspicion that the trailer was developed for internal use at EA to showcase the game. The actual reveal trailer is launching next month, followed by deeper coverage during EA Play in July. All that said, the leaked trailer is still pretty exciting. DICE haven't touched the modern military setting since Battlefield 4. If this leaked trailer represents the tone and themes DICE are going for with the next Battlefield game, we could be in store for something truly epic. I think I can say for certain that the majority of Battlefield fans, including myself, would definitely welcome a return to the modern theater of war. And judging by the trailer, it looks like we're looking at modern to modern futuristic, so weapons that exist today plus things that might exist in the next 10 to 15 years, which is very much in the realm of Battlefield 4. It'll be interesting to see if rocket launch sites are a big theme of the game, or maybe there's just one map in which there's a rocket launching and there's objective gameplay built around the launch sequence. It might also be more related to maps having specific objective themes, like blowing up a dam, stopping a rocket launch from going off, those sorts of things play really well in the Battlefield franchise, so perhaps this specific map your objective is to cancel the rocket launch, or maybe defend the rocket launch if you're on the defending team. Now again, since it's hard to treat this as an official DICE trailer, and also because it's more of an internal trailer, there's not as many goodies and little easter eggs thrown in there that we can glean from this. You know, we get sort of a setting ambiance, we see a couple modern military weapons in there, we see the robot dog, which would definitely fit into like an EOD bot type gadget slot, I would imagine from Battlefield 4, so it's not super surprising, but it's kind of neat to see that being used in game. We see the Ospreys, which we've had a lot of Navy vehicles in the previous Battlefield games, and the fact that we didn't have Ospreys before was a little surprising. So it's cool to see one of those Navy workhorses appear in the game. Obviously there's helicopters as well, the Osprey is sort of a VTOL aircraft, not exactly a helicopter but seeing helicopters back is a good thing. Helicopter-centric gameplay has always been an awesome element of Battlefield, whether you're piloting the helicopter, gunning for the helicopter, or just watching one flying through tunnels and doing cool maneuvers on certain maps, they've always added that extra level of pizzazz to Battlefield. Now, obviously, since this is a leak, we didn't get a whole bunch of official information from DICE, which is usually what we get with the normal trailer launch, so our information from the trailer is considerably more more limited, but thematically and sort of taking an ambiance from the trailer, I like it. I think it looks cool. I am certainly excited to see a return to modern settings and pushing that setting a little bit into the future, 10 to 20 years if you will, gives you a lot of flexibility or gives the designers a lot of flexibility in how they want to implement new gadgets and concepts into the game. I can't wait to see what DICE does with this. We do have the official reveal coming up very soon, so hopefully this speculation can finally come to an end and we can get some actual concrete information. The latest update for Warzone has made some welcome changes to Solos mode. Cargo truck spawns have been reduced from 16 to 20 in a match to 5. These trucks have been the scourge of Warzone for Solos players thanks to their high health and decent mobility. Players often use them to survive deep into a match while picking up easy kills on players caught in the open. The update also made a key nerf to the CR-56 AMAX. Raven reduced its headshot multiplier from 1.62 to 1.5. The AMAX became one of the standout weapons weapons this season after the FFAR and tactical rifles were rebalanced. It wasn't exactly overpowered, but it was still a dominant weapon in the game's meta. The nerf shouldn't feel too dramatic, but will help cut down on those edge cases where the AMAX outperforms. 
Today's update for Apex Legends is making a key nerf to the new hero Valkyrie. Her ability to hover for much longer while holding her Missile Storm ability is being removed. Before the update, players could abuse the mechanic to stay airborne for way longer than intended. Despite making her a sitting duck, it's an incredibly powerful way of gathering intel on enemy players and avoiding confrontation in the last few circles. Respawn put this mechanic in-game on purpose. Many players think its removal is overkill since it makes Valkyrie such an easy target. But realistically speaking, her jets already give you a ton of airtime, so the change probably won't make a dramatic difference. Sony confirmed Uncharted 4 is coming to PC. They released a PDF detailing their plans to make the PlayStation 5 generation profitable. It outlines initiatives like supporting the Chinese market, new studio partnerships, PC releases of exclusives, VR, and even mobile integrations. One of the slides shows Uncharted 4 is slated for a PC release. Sony announced PC ports of their first party titles are part of the long-term plan following the success of Horizon Zero Dawn's PC release. The prospect of Naughty Dog titles Titles like Uncharted and The Last of Us coming to PC is certainly exciting. Ubisoft are premiering gameplay of Far Cry 6 tomorrow during an official live stream event. The game was delayed due to the pandemic. Since its initial reveal, Ubisoft has said very little about the game, which was a CGI trailer featuring the game's antagonist played by Breaking Bad actor Giancarlo Esposito. Microsoft and Bethesda are hosting a presentation on June 13th featuring Halo Infinite and potentially the upcoming space RPG Starfield. The event will be 90 minutes long and is essentially their E3 show. This week's Halo Infinite dev blog was delayed to work on the presentation, so we can expect a fresh look at gameplay. A new roadmap for PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds offers glimpses at some significant changes coming to the game this year. The desert map Miramar is getting a remaster complete with better lighting, performance, terrain, buildings, and more. Two new maps are also in the works. The first is codenamed Tiger. It'll be an 8x8 km map that features the ability to respawn on death. A second 8x8 map codenamed Kiki is coming later in the year or early next year that looks very urban. PUBG has been flying under the radar lately compared to other Battle Royale games, these new maps might mix things up a bit, which could renew interest in the game. Gearbox are adding crossplay to Borderlands 3, but there's a catch. They've been asked to remove support for the PlayStation console by the game's publisher. Sony charges developers extra to allow crossplay, and it sounds like 2K Games doesn't want to pay the extra fee. The update doesn't have a release date yet, so things might change. Alien Isolation developer Creative Assembly released a teaser image for their next game. It's an FPS set in space. The image includes several obvious references to Sega, like Sonic the Hedgehog, Sega's logo, and more. Job listings for the game hint at features like player classes, abilities, and cosmetic rewards. The image is mostly a promo piece designed to attract potential employees. It includes a watermark that says it's not representative of gameplay, so I wouldn't take it as official marketing for the game. BlizzCon 2021 has been cancelled due to the pandemic. In its place, Blizzard will host a proper event early next year. They cancelled last year's BlizzCon as well, but put on a digital event in its place. The delayed event for this year's BlizzCon will likely cover Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2 in detail. Neither game is expected to launch this year. Bloomberg are reporting the Nintendo Switch Pro will be revealed before E3 this year and launch sometime between September and October. They claim it'll feature 4K output, an OLED screen, improved hardware, and more. Rumors about the Switch Pro have been buzzing for months, but Nintendo have routinely denied them. If they are in fact releasing a Switch Pro, it's tough to say if it'll be a dramatically more powerful device or not. That 4K output might just be upscaling handled by the console's APU. Before we get to our final story today, consider subscribing if you enjoy our news coverage. Subscribing and turning on notifications is the best way to catch every breaking news story as it happens. Epic's next generation game engine, Unreal Engine 5, is now available to developers as an early access preview. They announced the release with a trailer showcasing its potential yesterday. By all accounts, even in its limited form, Unreal Engine 5 is a massive leap forward. One developer stress tested the engine by rendering a 3D model of his dog with 10 billion polygons. One of Epic's big claims about Unreal Engine 5 is that it allows for nearly infinite model complexity due to how it optimizes rendering. 10 billion polygons is a lot. The fact that the engine not only rendered the model correctly but did so without any significant bottlenecks is incredibly impressive. And that wraps it up for today in gaming. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.